Hello class 4. Welcome to the second chapter of your English Grammar and Composition. So children, our second chapter is the sentence. And for this topic, I have already sent you one explanation. And according to that explanation, uh, here are certain sentences given here like he is my brother, a car has four wheels, show me your book please. These are all the complete sentences and you know a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. Right? Here are certain words, certain sentences which are not the complete sentences like milk gives us cow, cow the for is good milk health should we daily milk drink these are jumbled words we have to make the proper sense of these words like we have arranged them into proper sentences here the cow gives us milk milk is good for health we should drink milk daily now they have become meaningful. So now they are called as sentences. Now look at these groups of words. They are in the morning. Children are at the railway station. So these are not the complete sentences. Here to make them complete sentence we need to add some words. See she goes for a walk in the morning. Right? Then Children are playing in the park. She met me at the railway station. See the words which we have added here. Like in the first one. The words which we have added here. They have made, made it complete sentence. Children, then similarly in the other two sentences also. When we add certain words it, it makes complete sense. So first what we did they were jumbled words and they will be rearranged them to make them a proper sentence and here we have added some words to make them complete sentences now children exercise part put a tick against those groups of words which are sentences and a cross against those which are not i hope you can do them yourself now but we can but i have to tell you and it can be a check on you also. See first one come in. Come in makes a complete sense. It is beginning with a capital letter, ending with a full stop and it's making a sense. So it is a sentence. Now she is reading a book. Complete sense. It is. This is not a complete sense. So we put a cross here. There is no sugar in this tea. Complete sense. With a bat incomplete so no sentence cross the boys are cross bring a glass of water this is a sentence yes talking is she loudly no these are again jumbled ones the lion was roaring in the forest yes the baby was sleeping soundly yes not walk in the sun cross always respect your elders tick it is very pleasant today correct this book has colorful pictures, correct? I not like much chocolates. So this is a wrong sentence. It should be, I do not like much chocolates. So children, what is a complete sentence? What is not? You have understood because you have done it in class 3 also. Very properly. Now we come to fourth page number 4. Yes, page number four. See, we have to rearrange them. So, to when we have to do this rearranging, first we have to pick out the suitable subject to do the word. Subject kya hai? Suitable noun. Pehle wala suitable noun hona chahiye. Jiske saath we can make a sentence properly. So, here the ra colors rainbow has the seven. So, the rainbow has seven colors. Second, tell me the names of these seven colors. So this is beginning with a verb that is tell. 
Next one. The night is very dark. Fourth. I am afraid of darkness. Fifth. Cinderella was a kind and gentle girl. Sixth. Her sisters were very were lazy and mean. Seventh. Cinderella had to do all the cleaning and cooking. Eighth. Dinosaurs exist no longer on the earth. Brontosaurus was one of the largest dinosaurs. Tenth. Some dinosaurs were as small as a hen. Eleventh. Dorji gave me a beautiful pen on my birthday. Now come to the next page, page number 5. Yes. Twelfth one, I do not bring this pen to school. The picture shows a strange sea animal. Fourteenth, join the dots from A to H to know its name. Fifteenth, there is a large crowd in the market. Children, you have to look for the proper beginning and the proper sense in the rearranging sentences. Now, circle the letters that should be capital. Put in full stops where necessary. So children, we all know about the three monkeys of Gandhiji. After Gandhiji, full stop will be there. Then... After full stop, the first letter should be capital. One monkey, O of one will be capital. One monkey keeps it eyes, keeps his eyes shut. Full stop. Then T of the will be capital. The second monkey keeps its ears shut. Aapko pata chal jata hai, bete, jab aap aise paragraph karte ho na, aapko pata chal jata hai, कि वेयर वी हैव टू पुट अ फुल स्टॉप जब फुल स्टॉप पुट करेंगे सून आफ्टर द फुल स्टॉप हमारा नेक्स्ट लेटर जो है वो कैपिटल होगा नाउ फुल स्टॉप द टी शुड बी कैपिटल द थर्ड मंकी कीप्स हिज माउथ शट फुल स्टॉप देन अगेन टी विल बी कैपिटल दीस थ्री मंकीज टीच अस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फुल स्टॉप वी डब्ल्यू विल बी कैपिटल वी शुड नेवर सी एनीथिंग बैड फुल स्टॉप W capital, we should never hear anything bad. Full stop. W capital, we should never speak anything bad. Full stop. We can make ourselves happy by following the advice of these monkeys of Gandhi G. Full stop. Hope when I have given you the explanation before also and that explanation you have done in class 3 also and according to that, I hope you have understood the concept clearly. And children, Complete the work timely because when the, I will check the work, you know, that correction has to be made and I have to mark that whether you have, to, you have done the work or not. Okay, children. Goodbye till the next chapter.